Over the course of the 2016 NFL season, Colin Kaepernick took a knee during the national anthem. It was a movement that sparked the conversation about police brutality and social inequality in our country, yet he faced endless backlash and ridicule for his actions. However, during the past year, many other players and teams across all professional leagues also took a knee or linked arms during the anthem as a way to speak out about social justice issues. Kaepernick is now known as an activist athlete who led these players to show that they are more than just numbers on the field or on the court. This movement also trickled down to the collegiate level, and I had the chance to talk to staff and players from the BU men's basketball team about how they view activist athletes and what conversations took place in terms of the national anthem protests on their team. In the world of basketball, there are many athletes that speak out about social justice issues. In your eyes, what is an activist athlete? Um, I think an activist athlete is someone who is concerned about the problems in our world and just tries to speak out as much as they can. I describe an activist athlete as a person who speaks up for um, any issues that may be going on, um, using their um, platform, whether it may be social media or doing things in games or whatever it may be, um, as a way to reach people. I think it's just someone who you know isn't afraid to, to speak up, speak their mind, uh, what they're passionate about. Um, and just you know, bring attention to the issues that they see being a problem in our country or in the community. Between the coaching staff and players, the BU men's basketball team had a similar definition of what an activist athlete is, as well as their examples. And when you think of an activist athlete, who comes to mind? LeBron James, I think of Colin Kaepernick. I think the biggest thing the, with Colin Kaepernick, well, we all know the, the, the um, kneeling at the football games. Um, I think that's the biggest thing because it started such an epidemic across the country. Um, a lot of people agree with it, a lot of people didn't. Um, a lot of people took it as disrespect. Um, to me, I, I didn't take it as disrespect because I, I understood where he was coming from. Um, and a lot of people I know who've served, I have family members who served the military and you know they fought for our country and they didn't take it in the sense where it was disrespectful to them. He was never critiquing the national anthem or the American flag. Uh, he was drawing attention to the fact that we are not, as a country, living up to its principles because not everybody still has liberty, freedom, and justice for all. Kaepernick drew enough attention to these issues that the BU basketball team was approached by the athletic director to discuss if the team would kneel during the national anthem once the season started. Um, in the beginning of this year, uh, Drew Marichello and Coach Jones met with us as a team and we talked about the national anthem, what, what we're gonna do for it, and if we should do something, if we were go, like, going to decide. So our team is kind of split. We have some African-American athletes, some white athletes, um, but we decided not to do it just because we had so many different opinions on it. And in order for it to do it, to be powerful, like you need a, a, like a, a group consensus. You can't have like too many scattered opinions. Over the past year, professional athletes showing a united stance during the anthem has inspired college teams to find a way to get their voices heard as well. How did your team discuss national anthem protests? Yeah, it's something that, that definitely came up. I think most, most kids uh, today, most college players, they, you know, they see that and they have the same passion and feelings. Um, I think that guys ultimately just felt that there was other ways for them to to support his message and, and kind of share their own voice um, in a way that wouldn't be so controversial. Some of my teammates were like, we should kneel, and some things were like, I don't want to kneel. So we kind of you know, met down the middle and we, we decided to lock arms as a way to um, you know, do something for it, you know, to, to meet down the middle for people who wanted to kneel, didn't want to kneel. Um, we all felt we had to do something, but we wanted to do something that wouldn't offend anyone. Yeah. How do the older coaches kind of relate to the student athletes and teach them to be more than just an athlete? Yeah, uh, I think our, our coaching staff is great. You know, Coach Jones, I think that's one of his strongest characteristics that he just really pushes our guys to be complete people. You know, he cares about them as basketball players. Obviously, you know, that's why we're here, but he really cares about them as people and he really pushes them to, you know, to be the best students, the best people they can be. They sat us down and was like, hey, what do you guys think we should do? And, you know, we all put in our input and they didn't really say, you know, what was right or wrong. You know, they kind of were willing to go with anything we were willing to go with. You know, they had our back 100%, but um, 
yeah, it was just a, it was a it was a decision by the players mostly, and the coaches telling us you know the backlash that would come with decisions we made and things like that. So, you know, it, it was a it was a group effort. Although the team came to an agreement about whether they would kneel, each player still has their own stance on the issue due to personal opinions. Would you ever protest the national anthem? Would I? Yes, I would. And why would you do that? Uh, just because I feel it was a, it's a good time to get like um, publicity for certain problems that are going on in our world. And some people don't think it's a big deal, but I think it is. So um, just addressing it and making people aware of it would, would be a big deal for me. What events have sort of led you to think it's a big deal? Like police like brutality, that's a big one for me, um, especially with um, young black citizens. Uh, people don't think that's a, like a big deal, but I think it is because certain people shouldn't just feel like they should attack someone just because of the color of their skin or how they look. Um, so I, I think police brutality was the main thing that pushed me over the edge to think that's a, it's a good stand for Colin Kaepernick and what he's standing for. I don't think I would protest the anthem per se, but I would definitely uh, you know, do as much as I can to, to positively affect you know, the society and the community and politics, wherever it may be. Um, I, I don't want to do anything, you know, that stands out too much, but I definitely want to, my voice to be heard and, you know, people who support me and, and what I believe, I, I definitely want them to have a voice through me. And if I could provide that, I think that would be phenomenal. While Mosley and Johnson feel that they've never faced issues here at B regarding their race, they understand that they are role models for young African-American kids in the community. Both players will be graduating in May, but they are confident the team will continue to link arms during the national anthem. These players understand that they have a large platform where they can be the voice for young African-American kids here in Boston. From Case Gym, I'm Ashley Shanley.